my gorgeous sparkly scrumptious delicious aquarius welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising and venus and we're going to take a look at you and your person boo boo whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble day marriage let's see what's happening for aquarius and their person please show me angels what's going on here also baby if you are new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot and if you are a returning blue angel thank you i appreciate you i love you i see you baby give mommy a kiss mm -hmm. Aquarius, you know you're my favorites. And thank you again for all your birthday wishes. Um, my birthday was on the uh, on November 17th, so I know it was a while back. But <laughs> but I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you once more. And shout out to my sister, Gondor Official, who made that day so special for me. Uh, I also posted another video today. So you got like, you got me in the morning looking like together and you got me uh, middle of the night <laughs> on Saturday night looking crazy. So this is like, you can see my progression as I devolve throughout the day. Anyways, enough about me, Aquarius, baby. Boo -boo. Mommy loves you so much. Your Scorpio mommy is cured to the rescue. So we're always assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boo boo. Someone is really broken hearted, you know, Aquarius. I don't know what happened here, but your person is not feeling good. They got the three of swords in their life going on right now. So, you know, karma, maybe it's karma. I don't know. Someone is missing you and they're broken hearted. They, you know, maybe they blame themselves for what happened here. Let's see. Uh, please show me angels what happened here in the past. Okay, you got the King of Cups twice. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of a scorpion or some kind of a water energy, but they do see you as the love of their life here, all right? They see you as the King of Cups, Queen, anyone in between. Gender is totally arbitrary, baby, but they do see you as the love, the love, you know, the one. They, they've they always known you were the one. Look, you got the King of Cu uh, Cups again next to the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, I think this person acknowledges that this was meant to be. You were fated to be together. You were fated to meet. They always were looking for someone like you. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder and in between you met on a Tuesday, they did recognize your value. They recognized how... Uh, special this was but then you know when it came to actually doing the work you know the daily work the grind of a relationship they chickened out and they cut the connection someone ghosted uh you're wondering why you know ace ace of swords you're wondering why it really is because this person panicked there is no third party here i see no other factors it's just like stupidity they panicked they weren't used to this uh i feel like you're more uh, this by this i mean like used to like the, this kind of depth of love this kind of like soulmate connection this is someone who is a knight you're coming up as a king so you're coming up as the mature you know like the exalted uh one and they're coming up as the peasant <laughs> this is a peasant okay um they're trying to be a knight. They're still a peasant. You're already a king, queen, anyone between Bibu. That is the disconnect. And this person just panicked and ghosted you or like cut it off or something like that. If it was a more established connection, um, there were a lot of ups and downs in that established connection. I feel like that person gave you a lot of grief. They gave you a lot of grief and they were very slow. You know, maybe someone here had always been slow to commit, slow to take things to the next level. Um, and because it was very up and down, could have been uh, another fixed sign Aquarius. So it could have been a Leo, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. There was like a lot of like butting heads. And in the end, you know, there's just like too many arguments. Things were not moving forward. Two people had very different goals in life and this person cut it off. Or maybe you did, you know, these energies can't switch, but I feel like your person did that. They were like, okay, fine, like, this isn't working. And, and then, you know, immediate regret. <laughs> Aquarius, what can I say? It's always immediate regret when, uh, when you don't understand how important the Aquarius energy is. For some of you, this person just wanted to be single, you know? Like, they just wanted to be single. They wanted to be free, carefree, whatever. And bam, like, it's not working out for them. Because they still love you. As much as they didn't want that to be the case, it is the case. Four of Pentacles, they're still holding on. And they're trying to hold on for dear life. They're hoping they can keep holding on to you until they can fix the situation. And the Seven of Wands, someone is coming in to fight for this. But it's going to be a slightly kind of like combative energy coming through. You've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. And beneath the chariot, you've got the star you got yourself. <laughs> so two manifestation cards. So between now and the new year, I feel like, you know, this is the holiday period. So people, you know, a lot of people will be using that time as an excuse to come in. This is someone who's coming in on this chariot energy. Uh, by the time it's your birthday... In 23, this person will be communicating. They'll be trying to get back into your life. 
Let's get some advice from my baby Aquarius. Please show me angels what is the advice for Aquarius. It's up to you, Aquarius, if you want to get them, you know, give them another chance. But and it's like, mm, <laughs> I don't know. It's very immature energy. So you're getting the Nine of Pentacles as your advice. So, you know, boo -boo, think about how you've been without this person. Is your life improved without them? Because I feel like maybe, like, you know, your mental health, your money, your everything is doing a lot better you're just like super stable right now and they're not this is the thing they and they know you're stable you're emotionally stable you're nourishing yourself you're giving on to yourself let's get a little oracle card here uh how is this person going to tackle the situation oh love to the moon and back this is so sweet we've had this card appear before in the readings today this is sweet but again, you know, this is about thinking what is love to you, Aquarius, all right? So what does love mean to you? Is this person giving you that kind of love? Have you been giving yourself the love that you hoped to receive from them? And, you know, I feel like by cutting off this connection, this person did something really dangerous because they made you realize how happy you were without them. <laughs> like, legit. It's like, mm, you know... Now I see what it's like to be single. This person wanted to taste singledom maybe, you know, or they wanted to remain free because they wanted to have that, you know, feel that freedom, feel that whatever uh, non-committal energy. And uh, what they did, unfortunately, is show you that for you, it's good to have this uh, kind of energy around you. <laughs> ah! Oh, Aquarius, why are people so stupid? Why would some, why would anyone not beg the Aquarius to let them into their life? Let's see what long-term energy is coming through. Okay, Aquarius, you got the Two of Cups. So I feel like, look, if this person really has changed and you really love them so much, you want to let them back in, I feel like there's still, you know, there's still potential here. There's still the possibility of a reconciliation happening. In the long, long term, there's still, uh, there's still hope for love. But I would just be very, very careful about, you know, any decisions you make long term about taking this person back in is kind of what I would say. You know, make sure that this is serving you, this is serving your happiness because I feel like you're thriving and doing well without them. <laughs> and it's probably pissing them off as well. I wonder if they know about that. Because it's almost like, I, I'm, I don't even know if this person is looking at your social media because they're just like heartbroken right now. Like they're in the darkest dark. Uh, this is their darkest hour in their heart. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah, should have been a douche flute. All right, anyways, Aquarius, I don't know, baby. I don't know why the douche flutes do what they do, but they do. This is what they do. <laughs> this is what they are. Oh, by the way, this person really does love you. They're just silly, you know? They're just silly and immature and, and non-committal. Now is always the issue probably, you know, in this connection from the beginning if it was more established. And if it was a bimbo himbo, same thing. Uh, Aquarius, this is what I have for you today, my darling. Let me know in the comments below this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm.